Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Brotato doing suggestions from the comments section. Today's is from a handful of people, but the two most popular ones were from Metrux321 and Jacob Sommers. We're going to be going for a vampire build here today. Uh, obviously, there's the 25% baked in lifesteal with this character, but I, when I think of vampire, I don't think sticks. Like, of all of this stuff, I, I kind of... The best thing I think of would be knives. Noteworthy, I am not going to be going for hunting trophy because it would be just... It's just too strong. I've done it a million times. If you want that, go right ahead. I'm taking this character because they start with knives and they also have a baked in 50% attack speed. Like, if we are looking for lifesteal as our primary thing, and that is what we're going to be doing. That's the basis for a vampire build. We're going to get... Uh, like a lot of survivability and a lot of, uh, you know, armor, HP, all of that. But we're also going to be going for attack speed and lifesteal as we can find it. I will obviously take knives. Duh. Like, if I see a knife, I'm going to take a knife. I'm also going to probably take gentle alien. Uh, more enemies in a clump when you're going for melee is honestly just good. Uh, because more enemies hit means more lifesteal means obviously more money and everything like that as well but uh yeah it's just it's a good thing to go for again it's gonna be hard to pass it up but uh if hunting trophy shows up we're not doing it we're not doing it we've done it a thousand times if you want uh, uh oh shoot good ah, the taxi was not quite good enough if you want to see it you can check out on my you know my bunch of other versions of the exact same thing already let's get the uh, gentle alien first it'll give us a little bit more money little bit more money. Uh, but yeah, that's why I wanted to give a little bit of distance between this one too. Because yeah, I think... I don't know. The, the knives can maybe mimic teeth to an extent. Uh, we can't quite... We can't just bite enemies. I don't know. I, I think it's the closest we can truly, truly get for a proper vampire weapon. Uh, but I think armor... Armor, HP, attack speed, lifesteal... Those are generally the ingredients we're going to be going for. Obviously, anytime we see Vampire Bat, we will take it. That's just too appropriate. I don't know if it'll show up, though. Who knows? Speed range damage. I mean, come on, man. Life steal. There we go. Teeth upgrade. Get the knife. Get another gentle alien before anything else. I could go for Broken Mouth, too. I feel like, honestly... It almost feels thematically appropriate to have negative HP regen as well. I I may shoehorn that in there. I I may shoehorn that in there that we have to take every single instance of broken mouth I can find. Get like crazy negative regen. So like we are slowly dying over time. We need to feast. I need to feast. If we do that, will the run be a win? It's going to be a little bit tricky. It's going to be a little bit trickier if we go about it with that angle, I'm sure. But I think we can do it. I think we can do it. And if not, that's okay. We've been having a lot of broken runs recently. It sounds kind of nice to just have a little bit of challenge. Do one that maybe not might, might not quite make it. Attack speed is good. Broken mouth. Knife. Yes. Uh, and we'll stop at that. We got our six. Also, the, the broken mouth kind of looks like he's going, blah, you know? Kind of going out to sink his teeth into an innocent, all that jazz. You know, blood sucking, all that jazz. I mean, I don't know. It, this is a... I like the lifesteal stat a lot. It It's so funny, though. Things go in, in waves. Like, I take a stat like crazy in the first few videos. Like... I take so much lifesteal, and I, I explain why I like it, and why it's fun to go high lifesteal, high attack speed, you know, instead of going for the HP regen angle, then I kind of stop taking it, and people are like, why do you undervalue lifesteal? I don't. I think all of the stats are pretty good in the game, except for dodge and harvest. I really do. I think that literally every single stat, even, even crit damage, specifically crit damage, uh, we have seen can really make a powerful, appealing run. Uh, I mean, I might as well take that. 
I got to take the life steal. Got to take attack speed. I'll take a little bit of armor there. Alien tongue. I could. I don't think I particularly care though. Like I don't want to. Uh, I don't really want to bank on getting the pickups from the drops on the ground or from cute monkey or anything like that. Uh, butterfly. I got to remember that butterfly is one as well. Don't really want range down bat. Ah, there we go. Bleh. Bleh, indeed. Okay. I'd be mean, dang. Knives are just so strong at a base, though. Like, the crit, the critical damage. The fact that we have 55% um, chance on our blue knives. You get crits. Is that worth it to go for the tree? I don't know. Sometimes the trees are just so far out of the way that I don't know if they're really that great to go for. It's weird. There's some kind of like secret little calculus you gotta apply to, to figure out like, ah, should I go for the tree now? Should I not? Should I? Should I? Should I not? How are we doing for life steal? I'm not sure. Six percent chance to heal for one. All attack for six percent chance to heal for one. I don't know. There's no max cap on it, right? Theoretically, we could get it up to 100. I, obviously, I know there's a cap on how much you heal, but there's no cap on the percentage. So you could get it up to 100. So the maximum healing it is 10 per second. And, like, we could theoretically hit that. Like, like I said, I, it's tempting, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it. Bleh. More enemies, more money, more power. Good, 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 good. I kind of want to take a hit here. I'm trying to hit me. There we go. So kind of trying to see where we're at with the lifesteal scenario. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's not, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, if we really can't make it work, we will just play as uh, Stick Lad again and make it happen. But bleh, bleh, bleh. Like, I'm trying to not really rely on, on the regen. Because, obviously, regen is a very, very good stat. We, we, we've we come to find that for sure. Like, no surprise there. All right. All right. We're getting a little bit crazy with it. Taking a little bit too much damage. Just trying to make sure we get all of the money. Yeah. We, we risked a lot trying to, trying to do that. Ugly tooth. Bleh. I mean, sure. 3% life steal. Sure. Three armor, absolutely. Absolutely. I could, like, I could get more crit chance. Sure, let's just stop there. So what is a, so 11% chance. 11% chance to heal for one. Oh my God. I'm doing pretty good damage for, um, not really trying to do very good damage. There we go. I want to, I want to take a hit because I want to see what's our life steal looking like. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's still a little bit, a little bit caked, too caked in RNG for me, whether or not we would be okay. I'm just trying to take a, yeah, a little damage there. Ah, I don't know. We're doing pretty good. Ooh. Bleh. All right. Again, we're not getting... I don't know. Some, some, there's little stretches that are not great. We want to move this up from uh, that 11% for sure. I wouldn't mind taking the item as well for thematic reasons that makes it so... Health drops give us less as well. Kind of like a we can't eat normal food kind of scenario. Something like that. Absolutely. Like obviously mastery is good. Like obviously it's good. But I I want it, I want the money for something else. Genuinely, that's just it. More more. Oh my god. All right. Mastery is obviously very good. I'm just glad we have our wings still. Yeah, we obviously Oh god, this run. This run would be This would be a hunting trophy dream. That means that we were only offered the one, so 
It wouldn't, it wouldn't break my, uh, the record of that one episode, I guess. Not that it's particularly a hard record to break, it's just... I don't know. Past 10,000, then do I, do I really care? Do I want to get that 20,000 gold run? I don't really care. Yeah, the life steal's looking pretty good. I want to... Somebody hit me, please. Ooh! It's so good. It's really good. I have one negative regen. I don't know what threshold it is that ha it, you have to be at that has it so you start to actually take negative damage after getting hit, like, over the course of time. It's, but it's not, it's not right away. That much I know. You know what? Sure, I'll take a little bit of, I'll, I'll take a little bit of dodge. <laughs> Let me just, <laughs> just run through it. Uh, bing bang. It's weird to take this, but like, it's just, uh, unfortunately, it's just really good. Um, don't know what to say. Hit me. Hit me, Blair. Blair, hit me. S still at 11. Hit me. Okay, I want to see. Yep, we can, we can back up to, to full pretty well. 11% is a it's a pretty solid amount even with just knives here. Obviously something like the SMG like gets a lot more hits off and I don't know could probably end up being better better. But like this is it's a nice kind of meat in the middle here. Yeah, I I don't know. Cuz sometimes you get so much HP uh, and regen and armor with a normal build and you don't really have to focus on being around enemies properly you do here and it's kind of i don't know i like this it's a this is a fun angle for a run because we don't do obscene damage obviously melee damage sounds great but i just no no thank you uh metal attacks are obviously very good but i just don't care right now this is disappointing that's disappointing. No no good vampire items. At least we got the extra 3%. We're at 14% uh, lifesteal now. Kind of want to take a hit from something that is not those big boys. There we go. What's it looking like? What's that extra 3% do for us? It's pretty solid. Yeah, get right, right back up to full. God, I don't know. I mean, knives are just strong. Like, melee in general is not great, it feels like, but knives are very strong. And also, the like, I guess crazy is, is just really strong, too, because knives are good, and then you get the extra 50% 50, 50 attack speed on top of it. It's just dang, man. Mixed with the fact that we have all this lifesteal, mixed with all the piercing, you know, melee weapons pierce through everything. These have pretty solid range at the base. We are doing a okay we're, we're probably not far off of that 10 hp per second cap like range could be just fine but yeah let's get more life steal silly 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 great all right take 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 a dang hit take a dang hit hit me stop trying to hit me and hit me stop trying to hit me and hit me Hit me! Hit me! Please! I'm not the masochist, but I... Please! I'll take a hit from... Oh my god, I can't even take a hit from that guy. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. That was me desperately trying to get hit there. Yeah, we get, we get the health back pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Ooh! That was, that was a little painful. A little painful. I'm not really in, uh, I wouldn't say I'm particularly that, well, I would say particularly not that much in danger, but this is like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's the most balanced, strong run we've had in a while. I think it's what I would say. It's like, this is really strong, but I do have to pay attention. 
so it's kind of it's kind of nice. I don't know. I'm just having a good time today. I like this run. What a surprise that I like the life steal run, but oh boy, we got We got to have decent enough movement to not get hit too in, like too many times in quick succession. It's obviously very very strong. Like, very, very, very strong. Don't get me wrong. Um, just at a base of, like, lifesteal is good. Lifesteal is very good. You get, get a decent enough amount of HP to go with said lifesteal. Bada bing, bada bow. What's another way we can make this happen? Like, what's another weird lifesteal thing we could do? Like, I don't even know if lifesteal works on fire. Obviously, this character's made for it. Sure, let's let's do it. Let's give this another another gander, focusing on the attack speed, life steal aspect of it. Um, the thing that makes this character extra good for going for this route is obviously the fact that sticks just scale really well. You don't really even need to take damage ups for uh, for sticks to do well. Like if you take all the flat attack speed that you find, it's just going to be doing good enough anyways. Because they get plus six for every other, other stick you have, you know? Tunnel vision on the sticks. The root doot doot. Tunnel vision on the sticks. The root doot doot. Not weird food. What's the thing I'm thinking of? It's not weird food. I love weird food. Weird food is just a... It's just a good item. For the most part. Boink. Boink, boink. What does it subtract? Does, does it subtract dodge? Man, any item that has dodge downgrade as a penalty is a friend of mine. If it got to the point where they made it so, like, negative dodge made you take more damage or something like that, obviously, different story. But... Can't get the stick. Get the stick. I didn't say anything about hunting trophy on this run, but I am not going to take it. I might have rolled past a, uh, a vampire bat, but... That, it's important to me that we get that and then we try and not take any other things to put on our back. I, I will be the stick vampire. Again, I kind of want to take a little hit here. Because we have 1% lifesteal. But we also have 25% lifesteal if the weapon is a stick. So, I mean... We already have more lifesteal than the other character had over the course of the entire run last time. That's how kind of busted this is. This character's always been good, though. Like, that's truly the the, the real thing. This character's always been good because forcing sticks is just good. It's just good to get forced sticks. Take a little bit of armor. A little bit of lifesteal, a little bit of stick. Oh. Oh. I mean, we'll... We'll take it. It's worth the damage downgrade, like always. Even on, even on a melee run. Small magazine might be a little bit too strong for all runs. Maybe small magazine should give minus melee damage. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. It feels like too much of a... The fact that it has... Or maybe it could, like, give a little bit more of a... I guess I don't have it. Of a, of a negative or something. I don't know. It doesn't... Nothing needs to be nerfed. I'm just... I'm saying... I think it would still be strong if that happened. Like, I think it'd be really strong. I'm trying to get some lifesteal action going. You need more attack speed to make... To make it really happen. One more roll. Sure. Ah. <laughs> ah. I. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. I deserve that. I deserve that. That one more roll. I love me a re-roll. What can I say? When I'm trying to make thematic builds, you have to kind of re-roll a lot. Otherwise, all of your builds are just going to kind of look the same. That's just the truth. It's the fact of the matter. When we're playing with the demo, we're going to be re-rolling a lot. Otherwise... Otherwise, I promise you I would have been burnt out on this game already. If we weren't just going for thematic builds, like, there's a reason I started the build, or uh, the series with a 
viewer suggestions from the comment section kind of angle. It's because I knew that we were playing a demo here, so we gotta uh, we gotta at least go for some thematic variety in the runs and not just keep playing the game like normal style. It would get it would get boring fast. Like if if you were just doing it that way, we needed to give it that extra thing. Like, the game is fantastic, and I bet you when the game is out in full, I could just play it normal style and it would not be boring. Uh, after, uh, even after a large amount of time, but... I don't know, it's just, it's a demo. It's not something, I don't know. I, I'm afraid that it's going to come across as, as mean or whatever, but it's... No, I've played this demo for... 36 hours. I've played 36 hours of the Brotato demo. I, I like it. <laughs> it's a free demo, and I've played 36 hours. Of course I like it. It's got a broken mouth. Uh, man. I want the vampire wings. Give me. Hit me. Or even, even just some sticks. Okay, there's some hits. Are these a little bit slower than the uh, the daggers? Not sure. Hit me. How quick can, how quick can we get back? We probably can't. Yeah, we definitely can't stand still kill. Not that I, again, not that I particularly care or want to make that my goal. I think that's a very boring way to play, uh, for a handful of reasons. But it's a it's a good thing to check in every once in a while. Just be like. How strong are we? Do I, like, how much, because if you know that you could stand still kill on this wave, you know that you could be a little bit more risky for picking up materials. So the fact that it was kind of close means that I can walk through a little bit riskier pathways and be okay. Attack speed. That. Boink, boink, boink. My god! Like, I'm almost tempted- Oh my god, I'm almost tempted to just tap out of this freaking shop. Got negative two uh, life regen. If we get hit, and we don't hit anybody for a bit, if that's even possible. Can I- Can I- get, Please, let me- I'm trying to- I'm trying to take damage. There we go. Let's go down. No, it, it's- it doesn't go down when you have negative two. There's a certain threshold. I don't know. Maybe it's a bug and it got fixed. But there's a certain threshold where it seems like it um, it starts to kick in and it actually does subtract your HP over time with the negative regen. That's something I wouldn't mind. You know, that's a fun custom character idea, in fact. Like, they innately have a little bit more lifesteal, but their health slowly drains over time. Like, they start with... They could even just start with negative... 10 HP regen or something, and a, a surprisingly high amount of lifesteal, force them to be a little bit aggro. It'd be a tricky balance, because it could be the most frustrating character in the game if you could, like, die on wave one. Oh, man. All these are, like, there's a lot of good stuff there, but... Metal detector's great, but... I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna go Joker mode. 5% base lifesteal. I'm so glad that we have the 25% uh, <laughs> baked into this character here. Spawn on me. Ooh. I want to see what 10 per second really ends up, like, actually looking like. Like, we're, I don't think we're at it. Like, we're not at it. Are you... Because it sounds... It sounds almost unkillable. But that's the key word, and that's an important thing. Almost. It sounds almost unkillable. To be at 10 per second. But, I don't know. Some of these enemies do... Like, you, if you had enough armor and everything, especially if you had a lot of armor, you had a lot of HP, you had a little bit of dodge, I guess the HP wouldn't even be that important. If you had enough armor, armor dodge, and you had enough HP to take like 
a couple hits. Wouldn't be that big of a deal. Nope. Nope. forever to show up. Wave 9, and I, I swear, like, I'm getting, like, none of the stuff I, uh, I'm looking for. I, I had a better build going into the last one. Like, we got a lot luckier. But, of course, 25% lifesteal. This sticks kinda silly. Kinda goes a little bit wild. It gives you, it gives you, like, Twice a late game stat, like two x a late game stat, as long as you're using sticks. And I gotta say, I think that is one of the secret sauce ingredients of Brotato, is that every character, uh, aside from Speedy, has an element to them that is completely fundamentally busted and broken for the most part. Like you, mostly. Um, so I, I would argue probably not the standard character, but I like the standard character, too. It's probably my favorite to play. Like, genuinely, if I was um, just playing for for whatever, like, I would probably take uh, take that character, like, the majority of the time. Uh, just 5% uh, harvest, whatever, uh, 5 HP. What is that? Other? 5 speed? Or something like that. I don't know. It's just... Bunch of little simple things. It's kind of, just kind of nice. Broken mouth. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll go negative now. Keep on seeing the knife and wanting to take it. Man. Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me. Hit me. There we go. Yeah, I mean, we're not even close to the ten per second limit, so. That would imply that we have to hit 10 times, t 10 enemies per second as well. Which we're not going to do unless we have a lot of gentle aliens spawning the extra 10%. Just kind of trying to see if we can sort of weave, weave through even getting hit a little bit. As long as um, we don't get hit by the big boys. Yeah, I don't know. Lifesteal, it's, it's good. It's a good stat. It's a good stat. Like, I don't know which person told you that Lifesteal is not a good stat in this game. I can promise you it wasn't me. I love this stat. I freaking love this stat. It's so good. Do I just take armor? I guess so. That being said, like... It feels absolutely uncalled for to find... No, there we go. I was going to say, uncalled for for us to never find a single bat. That is important. But yeah, it's, uh, we, we are at negative 9% damage and negative 3 melee damage. And we're doing this much damage with our sticks. Look at this. Look at that. Sticks are so strong. Sticks are busted, in fact. Like, we don't increase our... Yeah, no. We, we <laughs> Nothing. Like, I'm still at negative of all that stuff. And it's just we have pretty good attack speed because it's thematically... Or not thematically appropriate. It's just very appropriate to go with lifesteal to make it a very strong build. All right. Look at all that healing coming in now. Hey, the ranged guys are the scary ones. When they were all clumped up, we were, we were doing pretty well. We got to... Uh, let's stand it still. Okay, let's stand it still. Pushing it a little bit. Pushing it a little bit, maybe. Maybe went a little bit too hard on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we going to die? No, but like... I maybe let myself get hit a little too much. As a result, we're not going to get very much um, back there. Can absolutely take that. Armor has pretty bad diminishing returns. That being said, I don't think I'm at that point right now. Yes! What a... Thank God. Like, how much money did I have to freaking waste on rerolls? And all this... The 134. All right, what are we looking like? Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, like, we don't... 
we don't kill super well. Like, we have uh, less attack speed than I'd like at this point. 60% is very good, but it's less than I would like. Uh, Stick probably has a slightly higher range as well than uh, we need. Like, reducing it would be kind of good for... Oops, one second. Kind of good for uh, the whole throwing out more attacks kind of a thing. It would be beneficial indeed, indeed. Oh, no, no. Are we going to be fine? Yeah, it's a little, it's a little spicy. I would wage it. Then I think the knives actually do it better. That's a surprise to me. It's a little bit of a surprise to me, I'll say. Yeah, wow. Interesting. I mean, to be fair, we had to spend like a million rerolls trying to make this happen, like, because nothing was showing up that we wanted. Uh, but yeah, I guess the. Why would, the, why would the knives be a better angle at this? 50% uh, attack speed at a base means that we can... That that's 50% attack speed is both a great way of making it so you get more damage out and more lifesteal. So that's like a really good angle to kind of meet in the middle, go both ways with it, like a little bit towards damage and a little bit towards survivability. That being said, like we could have also just had more sticks. We could have gone forward a little bit of damage, taken ourselves out of the, uh, the negative damage uh, pit. We could have, you know, gotten luckier in the shop. We could have gotten all of that money that we didn't pick up that 150 or something. We would have been able to buy another item. We could have just dodged better. Like there's a bunch of different things we could have done. Uh, but I do actually, I'm, I'm surprised. I did not think this was going to be the case. I think that the crazy character is actually a little bit better. Uh, for it at a base because the the lifesteal from stick lad who I'm going to call him uh, very high very good but yeah I, I don't know I guess what I'm figuring out I'm trying to figure it out here lifesteal is good it's very good on a character with high HP and survivability you obviously need a little bit of that kill potential because I mean, you, you'll fail a specific threshold at, at a certain point. We were taking way more than 10 damage per second uh, because we couldn't kill things fast enough to clear a path. So, I don't know. I don't know. Should I... Is it is it the most, the most powerful regen stat in the game? Probably not, but it's really, really fun. I like it a lot, and on certain builds, it seems like it couldn't it could be fantastic like really fast firing builds that like, you're going for very fast firing builds anyways i think it is great i think we actually ironically would have benefited from having a range down on the build getting more attacks out just because of the way that the attack speed in the melee uh works i think we wanted more attacks out instead of more piercing at the moment for today so interesting very neat findings alas alas that is that though and that's going to do it here for today we're going to cut it a little bit short because i mean i feel like i just i did the experiments i wanted to do so we did it. Alas, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions you would like to see me do, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, though. Check out the channel for Roblox more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.